Have you seen those intricate and detailed stamped images but maybe felt a little bit intimidated to color them because you're new to coloring? Or maybe you've tried to color and didn't get the results that you really had envisioned in your head. Today I'm going to show you some practical yet simple steps to create beautiful colored stamped images using some of the images from our Berry Cafe collection. Um, so as you can see, um, we have some of those images featured on this card. At the very end, we'll show you how to add those images to this flip fold dimensional card, and then we'll wrap it up with some more cool samples. So join me and we'll learn these techniques together. <music> So before you get started coloring, I like to select random stamped images and just stamp those on an eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of paper and then just start coloring these with a combination of sponge daubers and um, my Dove Blender pen. This is my Dove Blender pen, but we're going to go ahead and and color this ice cream sundae first. Um, so to get, if I have a, a kind of a bigger area that I wanna add color, but I want it to be very smooth and I don't wanna have a lot of lines in there, I'll just kind of color with the sponge dauber first. Now since this is getting cut out with a die, you don't have to worry about going outside the lines. So I'm using the Dove Blender pen and dipping it back into my Rouge Pink ink and that will give me a little bit of a darker um, color so I can get some shading in there. So when you um, dip into your ink pad, just make sure that you press in a little bit um, harder so that you get more ink, especially for lighter colors like this pink. Um, so we'll just kind of add a little bit of that texture and color to the ice cream so that's already colored. Um, then for the strawberry, since that's a little bit larger, I'll add a little bit of red um, to the strawberry and I don't want to get too close to the edges so I don't get it into the ice cream. So I'll just go back with some darker red. You could have filled in the center with some orange to make it look a little bit rest, less ripe if you wanted to. Um, so you can also just color these little straws. So anything that's really fine detail, the Dove Blender tip works very well for that. Um, once you're finished with one color, you can brush that color off onto your paper and you can use uh, switch to a different color. What's really cool about this is the fact that you don't have to have gobs of different markers. You can just use your inks that you already have. I do like to kind of test it out, make sure that my color is coming out true to what I want it to be. And then I'll just kind of maybe start at the bottom of this vase and just kind of blend some of that color up. Um, so when you're doing this, just kind of um, be patient with yourself. Each one will look a little bit different, like this is even looking different from my original one I colored. So I oftentimes just stamp a sheet full of images, maybe just sit in front of the TV and start coloring these. Um, what that will do is like I did these with these images. So you can just color a bunch, add some glitter, cut them out, and they're ready for cards. So those have not made them onto cards yet, but they're ready to go, which makes it so fun. So you'll just kind of finish off with some more um, shading and coloring and if you wanted to add more coloring into the entire um, glass piece you wanted. I was kind of going for more of a uh, retro or vintage look. Um, you could add a little bit more color down in here. So like with coloring, just kind of practice and uh, the more you do, the better you get at that. So that's kind of the techniques that I would use for these images. If you have like, um, say the boy's overalls or his pants, that's a more um, smaller image, so I'll just use my Dove Blender and no sponge over for that area. And since you have the blender pen, when you first hit it, it'll be a little bit darker. After you've colored the image, you're ready to assemble it to the card. So I really just wanted to show you a quick way to add these images to the card base. Um, so you'll see that this card base is very open and interactive. Um, this base was created with one of our um, pocket 
and flip fold inserts C. I use the white. And on the back, you'll see a little bit better what comes in this package. So I selected, um, let me see, I selected this one right here. So that has the fold on the side. And actually, um, that will come in this direction. So what I did first of all is I trimmed off this bottom piece and then I cut um, this decorative border on the top and then added my decorative papers from the Berry Cafe collection. So that's what creates the base of this card. Um, the die that was used for this was the Regal Borders and Pocket Set. So I'm just gonna lay this to the side and I'll show you how I added these, um, these images to the card. So once you have that oval, um, this is a basic oval shape that we have, you can go ahead and take these um, two kids and just add them to the oval. So before I glue them down, I'll just kind of see where these Im this image is going to hit the front of the card. So I'll add a little bit of glue. I love how these just kind of make sure the glue is at the tip. Just gunked up just a little bit. If you have that happen, just kind of squeeze a little bit until it kind of comes out. Um, then just add a little bit of glue to the tips of the, the chairs and the table, and then we'll add a little bit over on this side. So we'll just add that to the top, and when you do this, just make sure that you don't have any glue kind of overhanging um, into the middle so it doesn't accidentally um, stick to the back side. So then to add the strawberries, within this collection we have strawberries. Um, that you can use together as a border or you can um, cut them apart. Let me just grab a scissors here. Um, so for, for this one, I really just started uh, clipping these berries. So we have maybe cut it apart in here and then maybe one more time. So I just kind of started with adding the largest berry kind of in the top in the center, just kind of overhanging that. And when I do these clusters, I just kind of use my creative imagination. So let's maybe put one over on this side in here. And you just kind of continue that all the way around. Um, let me see, let's put this one in here and then another little berry over on this side. So you can make rearrange the berry clusters very easily and then you can add the little berry blossoms that come within this set. I usually like to cluster three of these together. Um, these are very easy to shape and can be clustered with any of your um, different flowers or berries that you have. Let me just, I usually like a stylus to just press in the center. I don't have my stylus with me at the moment, but um, just kind of lay those in the center there. And you just continue to build those clusters until that card is complete. And you can kind of see how I clustered those flowers up here added crystal lacquer to the berries and then also to the table and the um, sundae here in the center. So within the Berry Cafe collection, you have the Berry Blossoms die. We'll show that up to you in the back that has the little berry blossoms and then the strawberry border and cluster. And that matches two different stamps. You've got the Berry Blossoms. What I love about these is there's two different sizes clustered together so you can cut out a bunch at one time. And then here are your berries. So let's see some samples of those. So as you can see here, here we've clustered some of the little flowers together, which is absolutely beautiful. And you can cluster it with larger flowers, or you can also bunch them together to create hydrangeas or even lilacs. I'll have a video that will show you how to create these then. Um, in this one, I also um, added the little flower clusters to the side. This one also features the little girl image that's all cut out. Um, that image comes from the Berry Cafe stamp set. And this ha also has this little strawberry stand in the back. Paired with the fence, you have a beautiful scene. So that's this stamp. Um, a coordinating die with, um, with that one is a Berry Cafe that has the ice cream sundae, the little girl, and you can see those back here. And then it also coordinates with this stamp set as well. So let's bring up some samples um, that you can see just different variations. This is the strawberries with those little berry blossoms. Here's some more of the strawberries. Just different variations. Here you have some of the posies, the, the um, bee clustered together. Doesn't this just remind you of happy summer days? Here's the fence image. Oh, I wanna pull this card up as well. This is the Sunday. Here we add a little um, candy sleigh. I did this one. She added little prills. Just pop that up to give it a realistic look. 
Um, I have so many different samples here, it's hard to know which one to, to pull up. This one is the You're Very Sweet with the little honeycomb, the fence, and that honeycomb is called the Sweetest Honey Dye and the Sweetest Honey Stamp Set. You can see those here in the back. Um, so that's a beautiful summary image as well. So I'm going to pull up a couple more samples that you just have to see. Here is the fence with uh, the little beehive or honeycomb on the top clustered with the strawberries. Um, here you've got the little girl with the fence and this just pulls out. This was also using one of the flip fold and pocket cards. Here's an opening, just one of the inserts from the uh, paper pack. Here's a little um, strawberry basket. Isn't that little girl so cute? Um, so let's see what's in some of the papers as well. So I'll pull this aside. And within the paper collection, you have a bright summery color palette. Um, so you can kind of see the different um, papers, card fronts, journaling tags. And the back side of these papers are a little bit more of a bigger pattern. Um, one thing I absolutely love is within this paper collection, you also get some six by sixes, and then you get um, a sheet like this that has all some of these images all pre-colored. You can just lay the die on top, and that will cut out those images. Um, so over here, you'll see how that um, little girl and boy eating that sundae was just cut out from the paper. So you can really do a lot of amazing quick and easy projects with the paper collection as well. I'm sure you're very excited to pull out your inks, Dove Blender pen, and start to color some images. Don't be discouraged if your first image does not come out to what you are envisioning. Just practice. Practice helps with your coloring skills. And I would love to see what you're coloring and how, how that's going for you. You can share your pictures with us on Facebook. If you'd like to see how I put together the Hydrangea card, just subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will be posting a video later on how to do that card as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.